Hello and welcome to a lesson on order of operations. I'm sure you're familiar with the sorts of puzzle that's in front of us here. This is one of those viral logic puzzles that are often on social media. And hopefully this lesson today is going to teach us how to solve these with ease. Um, you can see in the first line, it's a very straightforward equation that two bananas equals 30, they're both identical. So I'm sure nobody has any problem saying that each one of those is 15. And in the second one, we've got double cherries. So we've got each one of those being 10 to equal 20. They're both identical again. And similar with the apples. Okay, easy peasy, four plus four, identical apples equals eight. Okay, so the value of the fruits in the first three lines of the equation is really easy. But then it comes to the final line. And take this as a hint, they usually try to trip you up in the final line of these sorts of puzzles. Um, to me, the banana doesn't look any different, so it's still 15. And the apple doesn't look any different, it's still 4. But notice that we've got double cherries here, which is equal to 10. So I hope you realise that that's half of 10, because I've only got a single cherry down here, which is 5. Now, most people would then come along and they would say, oh, OK, so 15 plus 5 is 20. 20 times 4 is uh, 80. And it's been shown that the majority of respondents to this puzzle have said 80. Incorrect, okay? The people writing 80 are incorrect because they've forgotten the important work that they did in school on the order of operations. And this is a convention that tells us that um, when a calculation involves more than one operation, it's important to do the operations in the correct order. Now, at the side here, I'm going to write that order down. And um, the way to remember it is the word bid mass. Now bid mass, the B in bid mass stands for brackets. So if there's ever an equation that has, or an expression that has brackets in it, we always do the brackets first, regardless of what's inside those brackets. Okay, brackets are important. Indices come next, they're powers. It's a fancy word for powers. In 15 plus five times four, there's no powers. So we're going to um, keep going. Division and multiplication come next in whatever order they come first in the e equation or the expression. So they are of equal importance, but there's no division in this one. It's just multiplication. So we've come to the, the reason why 80 is wrong. It's because we should do multiplication first before we do addition. Okay. And you can test this on your calculator. You can text, test this theory because your calculator will also hopefully tell you working well the correct answer is not 80 we have to do so it's 15 plus 5 times 4 okay we have to do the multiplication first by the rules of bid mass or the order of operations so 5 times 4 is 20 so the answer the real answer final answer is 35 and you have a lot of people on social media scratching their heads saying how on earth is it 35 but if you understand and you remember this, you'll always get it right. Please check on your calculator, prove it to yourself. Your calculator knows bid mass. Okay, let's go on to some problems then using bid mass. Um, so I'm gonna rewrite it uh, here actually, if you would like to write that in your notes. Very important. Okay, remember that the division and multiplication are of equal importance, as are the addition and subtraction. It's basically you do the one that comes first in the um, in the expression or the equation, okay. Um, addition, subtraction, and then we've got brackets. We've got indices. That's powers. Remember, that's just just the fancy name for powers. Okay, so we're going to do a few worked examples to try to um, demonstrate this. Okay, and again, if you want to double check, use your calculator. So first one. Very, very straightforward, similar one to what we've just done. Okay, we know bid mass. In fact, what I'm going to do is I'm going to screenshot and take it to the corner so that we've got it there. Okay, so bid mass. There we go. So bid mass tells us we've here we've got a multiplication and an addition. I'm sure we've already worked out the answer. 3 times 4 comes first, so it's actually 2 plus 12, which is equal to 14, okay? Some people will try and tell you it's 20, they'll do 2 plus 3 first, it's 5 times 4, but it's not, it's 14, okay? 
All right then. Um, and then I think what I'll try and do, let's get that on every page now. Okay, so next one. What do we do first? What takes priority? Okay, well, it's, of course it's division. So we do our division first. Okay, we're not gonna do eight plus 12 first, we're gonna do 12 divided by four. So we're doing eight plus 12 divided by four, it's three. Oops. So the answer here is 11. Okay, easy, easy when you know how. Okay, again, let's get that up there. So this time, now this is where some people come a cropper because they forget that they are actually of equal importance. Okay, so because the subtraction comes first, we just, you know, it doesn't, we would do that one first. Okay, we just read left to right. If these two are of equal importance as they are, addition and subtraction, we just go left to right. So what we've got is eight minus three, which is five, five plus two. So it's five plus two, which is equal to seven. Okay, we just read left to right. Okay, good. Next one. Um, five plus three times four squared. Now a bit different. Look at what we've got. We've got an addition, we've got a multiplication, and we've got indices. We've got an index, okay, so which is to the power two. So we're going to use our rules and have a look. There's no brackets, but we have got this one. So this is goes first. So we're going to work it out. So it's five plus three times by four squared, which I know is 16. Then what comes next? Division and multiplication. So this is gonna come the second thing to do, comes the second thing to do. Now, what is three times 16? I'm pretty sure it's 48. And so now final job is we do the addition. So five plus 48 is 53. Okay, if we key that straight into the calculator, just like that, it will tell us straight away it's 53. Okay, let's go and do another one. Um, now, what we got? Oh, again, is that the one we just did? Oh, similar. Now it's come up again. Oh, well, let's do it anyway. So we've got these two of equal importance. So eight subtract four, just read left to right. Eight subtract four is four, four plus two, easy. Six, <laughs> okay, too easy. Now then, this is really nice because, let's put these up again. This is really nice because, um, it just goes to show that there are three possible answers to this equation, depending on where we insert the brackets. So remember the brackets are the thing that we want to do first. So what do we want to do first to make an answer of 20? Well, let's have a think about this. Um, I think, let's have a look at this. I think that if we were to do five minus two first, that would give us three. And I know then we'd have to do three times four, which would give us 12. Ah, I've got it, plus eight. Yes, okay, so then what I'd end up with is this. And then I'd end up with that. Oh, okay, good. Okay, so I can double check it. Yes, okay. So you can play around with where to put the brackets um, and see if you can work out the next two. Feel free to pause the video if you want to have a go by yourselves. Okay, I will go through the answers in a second. Have you worked out the second one? It is this, isn't it? Okay, because if I do eight plus four, it doesn't matter that it's only got addition inside. We, whatever's inside the brackets, we do it first. So we get 12 times five minus two. And then we do the multiplication. So that's 60 minus two, it's 58, which works, yeah. Did you try the third one? Feel free to pause at this point if you want to have, your, have a go by yourself. Did you get it? It's this. Okay, so if I do these, um, this um, calculation first inside the brackets, I get 20. Okay, and then all I'm left with here is additions and subtraction. So I just go left to right, they're of equal importance. So eight plus 20 is 28, minus two is 26. It works. Okay. And finally, I think this is my last, it's my last one. Yeah. Okay. So just a bit of decimals, same idea. Okay. We're going to work these out. If you want to have a go again by yourself, feel free to pause. We'll go through them. Um, here's Bidmas. Okay. So it's B I D M A S. Uh, and we're going to do multiplication, of course, first. So 20 
minus 4 times 2.5 is 10. The answer is 10. Let's do this one. We're going to do this first. Okay. Well, I won't put brackets around it. Well, we do that first. Okay. So we've got 10 minus 20 in this case. 10 minus 20 is minus 10. And again, okay, multiplication has to come first. So what do we end up with? 20 minus 10 plus 3, which is equal to, go left to right, equal importance. So we've got 13. Okay. So that's bid mass. I really hope that that has cleared up any misconceptions or confusion. And I wish you good luck with the work.